continue, we take the second part. In the next week part, we are going to be looking at uh, the story between the two prostitutes. The one that slept upon her son and the son died. And the Bible says he took the son of the partner. Do you remember that story? In Yelama, if you pray, go next week. Now that's next week, we are going to be praying. Everyone that is saying that you will not go up because I didn't go up. You will not have because I don't have. That's what we will use. But today we are going to pray about the race. Now the topic remains victory over competitors. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 1. Now before they put it on screen, or while they are putting it on screen, you must understand that this life is a journey. Understand it. Everybody should understand life is what? A journey in a jewelry. This life is a race. And understand clearly that there are people that don't want you to accomplish your race and complete your journey. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus, you will finish your race. Everything God has destined concern you. Every good thing shall come to pass. You know that everything God destined for us is good. The Bible says every good and perfect, perfect gift is from where? It's from above. So understand that life is a race. Life is a journey. And in the part of this journey, there are several things you have to fulfill. You are born to do, become so many things. You are born to, be, to, do, to do so many things. You will reach all your, your goals. Now look at Hebrews chapter 12 um, from verse 1 to take our start up. He said, We are foreseen we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Let us lay aside every weight. Can you see there are weights that don't want you to get to where God wants you to, to get to? And the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us what? Run with patience the race that is set before us. Now let us lay aside every weight and let us run with patience. Now a, there are weights that doesn't want us to get to the place of fulfillment. And there is sin that doesn't want us to get to the place of fulfillment. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will get to the place of your fulfillment in Jesus' name. I want you to understand that you are, in, in, you are on earth, sent by divine purpose to fulfill divine plan. The plan of God for your life. There's a plan of God over your life. There's a plan of God over your life. You will hear men like Bishop Oedeko saying, I thank God I'm fulfilling purpose. In fact, you will hear men like some of these great men saying, I hear, I thank God I'm fulfilling purpose. Every one of us are sent. No one is a mistake. Even if your parents did not, did not plan to give back to you, understand that you are not a mistake. You are in this journey to fulfill purpose. Listen, I wrote here, there are so many people who do not want you to go ahead or even finish your race. No, so many people don't want you to go ahead. Now, that destiny that God has for you, so many people don't want you to get into it. Now, if you read the letters of Paul, he will say, ah, Paul, the apostle of Christ, by destiny. He was destined an apostle, but look at how he started race, his race. He was an enemy of the gospel that he was destined to be an apostle in. The devil did everything to try to stop him, but thank God for God's grace that took him into purpose. You will get into the purpose of God for your life in Jesus' name. Now, in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, Paul went for that to say, I have finished my race. He was bold enough to say, we'll read that from, from the NIV version, that I have finished my race, which means everything I am destined to become, I became. What does it mean to finish your race? I read, he said, I have fought the good fight. I have finished what? The race. I have kept the faith. Everything I was destined to become on earth, I have eventually become. Now, in the race of destiny, the race of life, none of us is permitted to die young. Now, Jesus that ran his own race for 33 and a half years, it was told him before. God told him, you are only going for three and a half years of ministry. You will live at 30, you begin 33 and a half, 33 and six months, you come back. That's why he was glad I finished my race. None of us was given that kind of short time. He, are, you, are you hearing me? None of us is given that kind of short time. So you will not die young. Tell your neighbor I will not die young. Because the Bible says, tell him because the Bible says, with long life shall he satisfy me and show me his salvation. So understand it clearly. So Paul is now saying here, yes, see me, I have fought the good fight. 
anyone that will finish his race must first learn how to fight. Because there are forces that don't want you to finish your race. There are forces that doesn't want you to, to settle down. Now, the race you started. Now, if you look at the way they arranged the academics of our nation. Now, in those days, they would tell us six, three, three, four. You know, now they have reduced this to five, three, three. Is this C3, three, three? Is that SS3? Yes. Now, and four. Now, in those days, it was six, six, three, four. One to primary one to primary six. You can't go to secondary school until you get to primary six. But now it is five. People are running race. I'm more here. I want to bear a race. So many people started the race of primary school. Take it, Uriola. Bring him here. The race of primary school. They couldn't finish. So many died on the road. Now, some succeeded. They finished the primary school race and said, praise God, I've finished now. I'm into secondary school. Some of them could not go ahead to go into our institution. Now, and they could not even go ahead to become anybody great. Before you can finish your race, hear me, you must learn how to fight. You must learn how to fight. The devil does not want you to finish your race. The devil does not want you to say, yes, I have kept the faith. So Paul, before he said, I finished my race, he said, I have fought the good fight. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, you will finish your race. And you will finish it well. You will not die by the wayside. Every good thing that is written concerning you, you shall fulfill in the name of Jesus. Now, can I tell you this truth? Go search scriptures. There is nobody on earth that God destined to be either be small or less. Everyone that God created, we are created in the image of God. And the moment we are born again, that image was supposed to manifest. But why is it that you see that some people are great, some people are struggling? Why is it that some people become so large, some people become so small? Now, these are the reasons, the forces, the battles they didn't fight. That's why we have come today. I came to show you three things that will help you in this race of life. Life is a race. It's a journey. But you need these three things that will help you to fulfill this purpose so that your competitors will not be able to bring you down. Let's look at the first one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, for you to fulfill your race, finish your race well, and fulfill your race, number one, you need divine strength. You need strength. Divine strength. You need the help of God, the strength of God. There are so many things in your heart. If you ask me now, I will tell you, ah, Pastor, Pastor Prince, he has a lot of things in his heart. A lot of things I want to accomplish. Now, and some of you too, you don't understand that some of these imaginations you are having, you say, ah, Pastor, I used to have this imagination. I don't know whether it is the image of God. I see myself, I build factory. Some will say, I see myself, oh, I see a lot of workers. It's not that they are sleeping, you know, but they are just, it's like it's just crossing their mind. And they say, I don't know whether it is the will of God. Listen, your imagination is actually the, the will of God. Do you know where I saw it? I saw it in Philippians. He said, if there is anything you must desire, desire these things. Now, and what are those things? He said, desire what is good. He said, desire what is pleasant. He said, desire what is what? What what's it? That's the kind of desire you should have as a child of God. But hear me. There is no how you can carry out your desire or run this race of life without strength. Onilo Agbara. Agbara to magbe. Tiwa fili riri jisa. We used to sing this song in Yoruba. Be agbara re wo mi o. Tori kini. Aya agbara la wa yi o. Aya agbara la wa. Agbara la. Tikpa eshu le ka. Jesu Christi be. Agbara re wo mi. Aya agbara la wa. We are in the world that we are in. Kuseni kon kon la ye ito duro la son. Is it that control in no kunkun or control in no imale? But when you come back, who can do last one by irony? They may not tell you, but somebody somewhere has something that in his pocket that he has spoken to at home, or he has kept somewhere, or he has one baba somewhere that is giving money to. And he shall ban shame. There is nobody there with that dog that is empty. But you that have God, that's why you need the strength. To run this race, they asked Paul the apostle, how did you fulfill your destiny? In Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, he said, I can do all things through whom? Through Christ that strengthens me. So in the first phase of our prayer, we will ask for power, divine ability. Oluwa, 
The Bible says at the age, old age, eh, of Moses, his eyes didn't become dim. In fact, I love Joshua. I know Caleb. You know what Caleb said? He said, Do you know that 45 years ago they gave us a prophecy that this land we are going to possess it? Now I am 85 years old. I still have the strength to go after that, that, that promise. Jo Joshua, please grant us permission to go. And Joshua said, You can go. At the age of 85, Caleb still had the strength to pursue. You will not be weak. I say, May you not be weak. Haven't you heard of people that are young and they say they are womb is weak? I have seen people like that. They are young, but one is lay on mama, could it be on mama? It's weak. And you'll be wondering how come. And when they are pregnant, they begin to have miscarriages and miscarriages and miscarriages and miscarriages. Those are the kind of people you see that the doctor will now tell them that once you are pregnant, oh, we are, you are going to be on admission because your womb is weak. Now, and when they put them on admission, they sew up their womb to preserve that baby. We need strength. Whoever is going to run this race of life, you need what? The first thing you need is supernatural, you need supernatural strength. And what we call supernatural strength is what we call the grace of God in the Bible. There is nothing you want to do in this life that you don't need power for. Hallelujah. So very soon we are going to start praying. I wrote here, you need strength, grace, divine ability to do more than your age, your qualification, beyond your size, or even your background. You need what? Supernatural strength to do more than your age. Connie Talushin, come back. Who did this person? When you come and they say, hey, such a young man. Your, in this life, hear me, your age is not supposed to be greater than your achievement. So, if your age is far greater than your achievement, you are not living a spectacular life. You are not living a, a supernatural life. You are not doing exploit. But when people ask of you and you come and say, hey, are you the one? You say, wow. And when you are now, apart from your age, what about your qualification? I always tell us, thank God for school. It's good to go to school. If you go to school, you meet people. If you go to school, your, your understanding will be opened. But it is not a determinant, a determining factor for greatness. Are you hearing me? No matter the, your level in academics, hear me, you still need to have exploits that is more than it. My mentor was sharing something with us last week when I said, and he touched me. He said, many years ago, where he was busy praying, Lord, Lord, our ministry, God said, take a child from, nurse, from daycare to, to university level. He said, and he announced it in church. Church, I want to tell you that God said I should take a child from daycare to university. He said, one member came after the service. But Papa, Nigerian government has not approved, as at that time, any private university. So how will it be possible for you to take a child from daycare to university when there is no approval for private university in our country? They say, just like play, like play. After some years, the Senate passed a bill and the first private university, Ignatian University, was approved. Presently, we have 171 universities, private universities in Nigeria. And theirs is one of them. God cannot lie. You need strength. May you not die before the time of your fulfillment comes in the name of Jesus. There is a strength of God that keeps us alive to see fulfillment. There's power for it. Listen, you will ask for strength uh, 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 that, that will give you results beyond your background and your size. When I talk about your background, you don't need to be in the family of uh, the family line of the abachas to become to begin to do exploit. At least somebody started greatness in that family. Abi, you know there are some family if you mention them, they say ah, I want your land, you want I want your land. But Jesus came from the most humble family, a carpenter. Go and read the story of Gideon. When the angel appeared to Gideon and said, "Gideon, mighty man of valor," he said, "Ah, how am I going to be mighty?" 
He said, you will save Israel by your strength. He said, from which strength? For my family is the, is the, is the smallest in Israel. And my father is the smallest in even that tribe. But God said, I've chosen you. The same thing with, with, with Saul, King Saul. When God chose A, Benjamin, we are the last born. And I'm the last one in my father's house too. God is set to give you supernatural strength. We are going to ask for it this evening. Uh, that will be our first point of praying. And I pray that God will grant us answers in the name of Jesus. Say big amen to that. Now the first prayer you are going to pray, you say, I receive grace. For a life of exploit in the name of Jesus. Now look up. Wait, you start praying very soon. You will jump up to pray. You will ask for it. Grace for a life. You know, I was, we've been studying the book of Ruth in the online prayer meeting. Now, this evening I was just studying the one I will preach tomorrow morning online. You know, I preach on Facebook every day. Ten after six. Now, tomorrow morning, the, the title of my message is I am not worthless. Ruth's husband died. The only person she had was her mother-in-law. But do you know that she eventually became the great-grandmother of David? God said to her, you are going to ask for grace, for a life of exploit. For instance, some of you, the day they gave back to you, it is only in your, in your, in your family they knew that they, they have given back to a child. In your family, in the economy, what be more? Now, if you are, are you going to die that way too? You came, nobody knew that you came. You are going, nobody is knowing that you are going. So I reject it. A life of exploit, hear me, is a life of doing great things. Say great things. Shout it aloud very well. That's why I'm praying for our business people in this church. Join that business meeting September 27, 11 a.m. here. I'm praying for our business people. Uh, sorry, July 27, 11 a.m. here. I'm praying for our people that God will give you mega business idea. You know, there's a business idea that is mega, that is beyond you, that thousands of people will be feeding from your hands. Let's rise up, let's rise up, let's rise up, let's rise up, let's rise up. Let's look at the first prayer point. Say after me, I receive grace for a life of exploit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer right and let's begin to pray. Father, I receive grace. For a life of exploit. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. A life of exploit. Grace for a life of exploit. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Let's begin to tell the Lord. Grace for a life of exploit. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying? 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 Rakadaba basen nelebosh ringa daba daba basata yanga daba skene lenge debo sanda ya ya gada basanda ya la begin to pray, begin to ask for grace. Lord, I will not do ordinary things anymore. Begin to pray. I begin to do extraordinary things. 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 Lord, I ask for grace. Lord, I ask for grace. Lord, I ask for grace. Le gada bara thank you father in jesus name we are prayed say amen to thy big amen. amen under it you will say say after me i will not break down in my flesh in my soul or in my spirit in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray i will not break down lord i will be doing exploits and i will not break down begin to pray for yourself I will not break down. In my spirit, in my flesh, I will not break down. In my soul, I will not break down. In my spirit, I will not break down. Yet I will be doing exploit. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Ragada basene, shagada basene, basata ya gada badaba, ringe de ge de ge de, basanda. Begin to pray. Begin to tell the Lord, I will not break down, Lord. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And amen. Now, open your eyes. Look at me. Do you know that as small as Emanuela was, if you know internet, you know Emanuela. As small as she was those days, BBC came to interview her. If you do exploit, the world will see you. It is not by age. As small as it was, but she killed it all. Kill it near exploit it here. Comedy will discover. May God make you discover something. That's something that will make you great in the name of Jesus. 
Now, let's take our second point of prayer. Say after me. I receive, oh sorry, not now. Say my age, my qualification, my size will not succeed to limit me from exploit in the name of Jesus. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for myself. My age, my size, my qualification will not succeed. My background will not succeed to, to limit me. Oh God, from doing exploits, begin to pray. Pray for yourself. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Regada baraba, shangada baskele, ringede, legada baraba baraba, basendele. Are you praying? In Jesus' name, we are prayed. And then open your eyes. When we say pray about limitation, Pastor Matthew Ashimolo is not from the big, biggest city in Nigeria. The biggest city is Ibadan. He's from Odeomu. A very small place. And you know that they did. They, made, they did this uh, research in the whole of England. The most popular person in England after the Queen of England is Pastor Matthew Ashimolo. The most popular person in the whole of England after the Queen. Because they don't put anybody ahead of the Queen. is Pastor Matthew. And where is he from? Odeum. Now, when he was to come and bring, bring, build the university, he said, I'm taking university to my village. He took his, his uh, uh, university to Odeomu here in his village. The whole world goes there to school. I want us to pray. God does not want a small life for you. Some of you are satisfied. You can feed your wife. or you can, As a wife, you can dress yourself. You can pay, uh, feed your children. You think that's what life is? No. Say after me, I'm here or not to fulfill divine purpose. And you know, divine purpose is not just for self. I was listening to Pastor uh, Bishop uh, Wandeoke. He said the man that established uh, Harvard University, the best university in the whole world now, Harvard, was a member, an usher in a Baptist church in the U.S. He said he sat down as an usher in the church that day and the idea just came. And he told his pastor, I want to establish a world-class university. That was how he started. Today, Harvard is number one. I command your understanding to open. I say, I command your understanding to open. <laughs> Begin to receive great ideas for greatness. Are you set? Say my age, my size, my qualification, my background will not succeed. to limit me, oh God, from exploit. In the name of Jesus. Carry me on the wings of your grace. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Father, my age, my size, my qualification. Lord, my background will not succeed. To hinder me, for, to limit me from exploit in the name of Jesus. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Father, carry me on the wings of your grace. Regada bada bada bash. Regulia da baskene. Basata yanga da baskene. Ragada. Begin to pray. 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 Yagada basanta yagada. Shagada bade. Regulia da ba. Basata yanga da baskene. Regede basanta yanga da ba. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed and amen. amen. Number three, you say, every good thing my hands have started, my hands shall complete. Every good book, boom, ready to me better. Lord, call Jesus. Oh, my dinla, oh, what music party? Oh, are you set to pray? Open your mouth and begin to decree. Every good thing my hand have established shall become great, Lord, and my hands will complete it. My hands will come. I will not die on the roadside. Begin to pray. We are asking for strength. 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 Le gada bara bara bash. Lengori araba. Basata yanga da baskele. Rengori araba. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. 
begin to pray rakaya rabase shangada ba ringulia begin to ask for strength begin to ask for it lord prosper every good thing that my hands start 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 rekada barabas shangada baraba basendele ringedia baskende thank you father in jesus name we are prayed and amen now open your eyes look at me look at me look at me I'm programming something in your mind. I want to pastor great people. You will be great. Amen. Now listen. After you must have started to conceive dreams, what do you need next? You need an office. You know why you need an office? Don't use your bedroom. Don't stay at home. You know why you need an office? You need an office because that is the beginning of seriousness. When you stand up from the house in the morning, you dress up, you have an office you are going to. You say after me, say, oh Lord, help me. To live an organized life. I told you 20 something years ago. We'll be celebrating 23 years anniversary. 23 years ago, I had my first secretary when the church was starting. I had a, a secretary. I was paying that secretary 600 naira per month. Because I knew I was going somewhere. Don't just be living life as if somebody, as if you have arrived. Oh, Ibere. Oh, Ibere. In your condition, that power holding. You are going there. I didn't hear your email. Ah. In your call, it starts like that. You know, when you wake up to go to office every day, you will not want to go to office to sleep. You want to achieve something every day. That's the beginning of seriousness. And when somebody is looking for you, I'm at the office. No, when they call you, I shake him out, shake him out, okay, Motimbo, mobile office. Let some people meet you at the office. Put a chair, put a table, arrange it well. There's the next thing, you move forward, go get a secretary. No matter, negotiate. You know, when you have somebody's salary you want to pay, you become serious. If you don't want to be serious because of yourself, you'll be serious because you'll be ashamed of how they will mock you at the end of the month. When my wife told me, I went to visit her in her school, and uh, she said, honey, please come, and can you visit all the classes and talk to the teachers? So I was going from one class to the other. I was glad. I was happy. I also want to visit your business. I didn't hear amen to that. Ah, ah. Are you not ready to fly? Even if your job is makeup, go and get one small office. If the office is not more than the size of a toilet, go and get it. Start somewhere. Let your in fact, let us say the, the, the your your monthly rent, your yearly rent is six thousand per month. You know you have office. Yes. Not that ille muwa customer abe the ruru ruru saya. Wake up. You, dress, you know, office dignifies you. The, your dressing too will change. Are you set for a life of exploit? May God take you to that yeah. level. Grace to begin to live an organized life. See, after grace, to begin to live an organized life. Begin to rest upon me right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Grace is the supernatural strength. Begin to pray. Grace is supernatural strength. I receive grace to begin to live an organized life. An organized life. An organized life. Reke de basanda. Ranga da barabaraba. Shaga da barabos. Ringuli adabaskene. Basata yanga da bara. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Grace to live an organized life. Rest upon me. Are you praying? Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, sit down briefly. Let's look at number two. I didn't interpret that last prayer in Yoruba. Only of 13 of big be a yeto leto. Who are going to die for me? There's, there's grace for it. Praise the Lord. Now, the second thing you need, after strength, you need wisdom in running this race. Hear me. Without divine wisdom, you won't become extraordinary. Are you hearing me? You need divine wisdom. Laying strength, wisdom, the next thing I need. That is Sire. Without divine wisdom, hear me, you will just be like an ordinary person. Now, what is divine wisdom? What is divine wisdom? Hallelujah. Divine wisdom, hear me, is recognizing what to do by revelation from the Holy Spirit. Recognizing what to do 
by revelation from the Holy Spirit. Okay. If you are ready. Divine wisdom is recognizing what to do. By, you know, natural wisdom, for instance, if our generator has fault, Brother Precious and Apple know how to repair it to a point. Katuman Pentu Mashi Jen Ajaki Mon Montafeshi Moluku. Okay, they want to change his uh, plug, they want to change uh, 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 what was, was that one that is a that you say used to spoil and current will not come. AVR, AVR they want a woman, and he said, Could see tools still on me. How did they learn it? They learned it because of those people that used to come. Those people that used to come and repair, they will stay with them. That one is learned wisdom. Learned wisdom. There is what we call divine wisdom. Divine wisdom is something you didn't know anything about. God just gives you an idea. How do I know this? Show me Genesis 31 10. Come on. Put it on screen. Genesis 31 10. Have it on screen. Genesis at one. Look at this. In breeding season, I once had a dream, which I looked up and saw that the male goats meeting with the flocks were struck, sparkled, and spotted. Stop there. An angel showed uh, uh, Jacob that okay, this is your God that used to cheat you. Don't worry. Let me show you how to gain from him. God now gave him that dream. Now, when he now woke up from that dream, the angel said to him, see that branch of a tree. Anytime you see that animals are meeting and they are strong animals, put it beside them. They will give birth to sparkled, colored animals. And David now went, uh, sorry, Jacob now went to Lebanon and said, oh God, you know what? My salary will be sparkled, colored animals. Ah, Lebanon said, no problem. Because there was no sparkled. But God had showed him. God need to show you what will make you great. You didn't hear me. God needs to show you. Some of you, your eyes need to, your spiritual eyes need to open to see something that other people are not seeing. You know, today we have people that just want to copy every business. But when God gives you an idea, before people will copy, you will have gone far. Look at when business like Pinnacles was thriving. Those days, there was no mall now, Abby. There was no mall. Even Almighty ShopRite met pinnacles on granite. There was no more in those days. And in those days, when you go to Joyce uh, uh, Felele, this woman's business used to create hold up. And do you know what? She discovered what most people didn't discover. What did she discover? She discovered that you don't need to have cash to have goods. All she did was the idea she had discussed with so many manufacturers. And you know, some of you don't know that that's what ShopRite is doing now. I went to buy something at ShopRite many years ago. I've gone to ShopRite now. It's over, I can't count, maybe two years. And I met one of their staff. And he, he was one of our members. Uh, you know, and I asked him, ah, bro, you work at ShopRite? He said, no. My company has a stand inside ShopRite Mall. I now ask him questions. That was when I discovered those truths. You need an idea from God. Something that every other person doesn't know. Lord, call this. Allah wa fi ashiri oro ho eh. Ah, shami da da. I be wisdom ni eh wa. Wa de fi tarak bati mani bere gbadu wa gbadu wa. You know, before Baba Diboy went to camp, nobody knew that camp people can go to camp. He was the first. God gave him that idea. Move the church out of city. Everybody was used to city church. Then he went to camp. God gave him the strategy. Now, it was after he has gone to camp that Baba Winners to say, ah, ah. He too got an idea from God. He too moved to Ota. Today, do you know that whenever they have Shiloh meeting, people come from all over the world. 
We are going there to have time with God. We are going there. Now, before it was city church that was making wave. But now it is camp church that is making wave. But by divine revelation, God can show somebody the next one. It, it may get to a point, it may not be camp church anymore. Am I communicating? Do you understand what I'm saying? We all don't need to do the same thing. God showed Jacob this one and Pam. That was it. What did uh, Bill Gates get? It was Bill Gates that got, is it Microsoft? He got it. And today, look at him. Though he's no longer the richest man in the world, somebody have overtaken him. Now, what did Dangote get in Nigeria? He got the idea of moving goods by using trucks. Before, in those days, it was trained. But these people were able to foresee, you know, that ah, this way train is going, train will stop functioning very soon. And they got trucks in their hundreds. May God open your eyes. You won't die like this, so. Tell your neighbor, you won't die like this. I'm challenging you. Understand that you must not go silently. You came silently. Only your family members know that you came. You must go back making noise. When it is time for you to go, people should know that ah, a giant has finished his race. You will finish your race well. So don't forget divine wisdom is recognizing what to do by revelation. Recognizing what to do by revelation from the Holy Spirit. This was what happened to Jacob under Liban. By divine wisdom, listen, I decree you become greater than sinners. Divine wisdom, Luman Jekatayo, I want like Bible. You should understand that. If we walk by the same wisdom, we and sinners will be at the same level. But by divine wisdom, I'm telling you, you just overtake, and sinners will be looking at us from far. Uh-uh. But it will not tell. God needs to show us something. Do you know that this business you are doing, eh, that some of you are doing and struggling, there are some locations that you will take that business to, and it will boom. God needs to show you. That's why when he was talking to... Uh, uh, Dairos, he said, I will give you the wealth of darkness and riches stored in hidden places. There are some places God just needs to open your eyes. That shop we move business as be. And if you look and say, ah, 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 kilo shele, kilo de, ashe mo koni shele mbiti mo watele ni, ashe mbiti olon veki wa muje de, olon wa muje de be o. Ah, and olon wa muje de be. Are you set to pray? Let's look at prayer point number one. Say my spiritual sense. I didn't hear. Say my spiritual sense. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. I begin to receive deep mess divine messages that will make me outstanding. Jump up on your feet. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. My spiritual sense. Come on. Command your spiritual sense to open. Your spiritual sense has to do with your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears. Begin to pray. My spiritual sense. Come on, be open now. Be open now. Become open now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive divine messages that will make me outshine sinners in the name of Jesus. I receive divine messages that will make me outshine sinners in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive divine messages that will make me outshine sinners. And he said, Oh, Lua, Ogmala, Tiwa, you tell me, you me, Bori, I want like that, boy. Nino no win, ni ni no wo oluwa yon die for me. Are you praying? Are you praying? Ringe de bosene, shanga da baraba, lengori ada baskene, basa ta yanga da baskene le, shanga da baraba, basse ke le gede gede, ringori ada baskanda, shaga da bare, ringori ada basse, basa ta yanga da baske, bale. Let's begin to pray. 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 Let's tell the Lord, Father, divine wisdom, divine wisdom, be active in my life. In the name of Jesus, ringe de bos, shagada baraba, lenguri adabaske, basa ta yanga adabaske de lebos, raga yadabasa. Be active in my life, Lord. Open my spiritual sense, Father. Open my spiritual sense, Father. Open my spiritual sense. Let my spiritual sense open in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? Now begin to ask. Say, Lord, show me the wisdom. That will make me outshine sinners. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Reveal to me, O oh God, the deep things that will make me outshine sinners, O oh God. 
Deep things, oh God. Are you praying for yourself? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And amen. Now say after me. Say, reveal to me, O God, the source of wealth and glory. Let's begin to pray. Reveal to me, O God, the source of wealth and glory. In the name of Jesus. Lord, reveal it to me. The source of wealth and glory. Show me, O God. Show me, O God. Show me, O God. Ragada bara bara bas, shangada bas kendele bos, ringada bara. The source of wealth, the source of glory. O God, show me. 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 Begin to ask the Lord to show you, in the name of Jesus, the source of wealth, the source of glory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed and amen. Sit down quickly. Let's take the last one because of time. Sit down quickly. Now, after the second one that is called divine wisdom, now, for you to run this race successfully again, the third thing you need, you need God-sent kind of people. And when you there are God-sent people. My mentor was sharing with us, one family, husband and wife, said, sir, we thank God for what God is doing at the university site. They now built a university uh, an hospital facility of 120 million naira. They furnished it and they delivered it. This is our own contribution to what God is doing. May you meet people that God has descended your way. If you think that those people don't exist, it's a lie. If you think that everybody in Nigeria is struggling, a lie. I got to Afe Babala University, sir. Ma, project is still going on. It didn't stop. They are still working. They are working. They are working. The facility they have in their hospital, they don't have in UCH. In their hospital, they did heart, baby heart transplant. Give baby new heart. And when I was preaching, they told me to greet the man. I saw him, old man. This is how he walked to church. And he sat down. I was preaching, I was looking at him. He's not a ghost. He's a man like me and you. And I started to pray. Diversify. Towo mi bere o baba towo mi bere. Ishe agbara. Ishe yanu o. Taye yo fi mo o. Baba towo mi bere. Aye ti kuro ni pe mo kwa. Elo ni mota mi fa mota ja. Eja se be ka jen. Life must get to the point where you have staffs. People you are paying salary to. People that will be saying, ah, thank God for my boss. God is, this is the person God is using to raise my family. I want you to be, you know what I'm saying it? I want you to be dreaming it. At least, let, let, let one year come. Let me tell every uh, people want, that want to invite me outside. To say, Please, I don't want to go for outside administration. I want to visit all the companies of the members of the church I pastor. I'm not hearing your email. Ah. Yeah. Sorry, this year, don't invite me outside. Though. I want to visit all our people. Because you have congregation. They told us Suma has about how many thousand staffs? When we calculated the already, we calculated how many thousand? Nine thousand, have you? In only three years. They said three thousand per day per, per year. We counted nine thousand. I am yet to see a church in Ibadan that has nine thousand members. Go see. You will get there. Amen. But see. The third one, you need people that God has sent 
to you. You need to meet them. You need to meet them. The devil is doing everything to make you not to know them. You need to meet them. I say again, you need to meet them. People that have become say, your link. As I'm talking to you now, beloved, there are people in abroad eh, looking for people they can trust in Nigeria. God will link you to them. They have products they want to sell. People have disappointed them. I say, ah, ah, King Derinio to faithful me. Maybe be Nigeria she by Jabba too. I say you're getting in Nigeria more. King said Derinio to faithful. Timul if you contain a man in Russia, see, Timad them if you contain a Russia, to whom you are the Marque. Immigrant while we are winning. Hello, get on back with me down, madam. But you need to pray that God should link you. I won't mention him because we're online. That was what happened to one man. He has several stores in Ogunpa now. They said he was just a person that was an intermediary. What we call Baranda, intermediary. What do you want to buy, man? I want to buy this. He will come enter a shop, pretend to be the owner of the shop. And say, okay, boys, a car on TV, bring all those TV outside. Attend to him. He will put his own share. That was what he was doing, that some white people met him. We have some consignments we are bringing to Nigeria. We need somebody that can represent us. Look for a warehouse. Until the shop. But you will me no in tomba for woke kere don you wo. On for you woke kere lower warehouse, a salo. Eh, the tiri container. Warehouse, last one look being in salo. So they will just look at it and look at The man, when he, they, they gave him money to look, he looked for a good place. They gave him money, he paid. And the goods came in. Which is the millionaire name. I want us to pray. The people that God is sending, you will meet them. Amen. Say after me, every strange spirit fighting to make sure I do not enjoy relationship. Understand it now. People me, you say your work against me is destroyed now by fire in the name of Jesus. Jump up on your feet and begin to pray. Let's begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Every strange spirit fighting to make sure that I do not enjoy relationship. Your work in my life is destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Your work against me is destroyed. I say your work against me is destroyed. Begin to pray. Ragada barabas. Shangada baskenele. Regede basandaya. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Command their work against you to be destroyed now. 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 Lingada basi. Legada baskanda. Regede baskanda yara. Shagada basanda yara. Legede baskene. Your works is destroyed. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed and amen. Quickly, amen. let's take just two and close. Say, Holy Spirit, begin to attract to me the helpers I need. People that will help me in my race. Mama, diversify. The helpers I need, people that will help me in my race. Number three, people that their race and mine is connected to each other. Let's take it again. Say, Holy Spirit, begin to attract to me the helpers I need. People that will help me with my race. People that their race and mine is connected together. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Blessed Holy Spirit, begin to attract to me the helpers I need. The helpers I need. Yagadabas, people that will help me with my race in the name of Jesus. People that their race and mine is connected together. Holy Spirit, begin to attract them to me. Begin to attract them to me. Begin to attract them to me. Are you praying? Lebasata Yangadabarabash, Shagadabas Kenele, Yangadabaraba, Basataya. Holy Spirit, attract them to me in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. 
Holy Spirit attracts them to me in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit attracts them to me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Be exalted in Jesus' name of prayer. Then finally, you will say, may the spirit of error to mismanage relationship never possess me. And me, she, 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 she. I don't know how to put it in Yoruba. I get lost, Yari. Get lost, You know, like a pastor, he entered his church. Church to pastor. He had Bishop Oedeko said, We don't need your offering. It is not your offering that is making us. He too went to his own church. Do you know how many years Bishop Oedeko have been teaching the people? He now said to the people, We don't need you. We don't need your offering. By the time he turned, everybody left him. He now remained him and his wife. He now started going to beg from house to house. I am not Bishop Oedipo and Pastor Prince Will. We need you. We need the offering. It's true. If your offering is not there, there are so many things we can't do. That's why I'm still praying more that God should bless you. Yes, I'm praying that God should bless you. If you ask me, what prayer am I praying for you most? I'm praying that God should bless the members I pastor. Because it is in your blessing, eh, as the, the more you are blessed, the more our ministry will move. You know, by the time God begins to prosper everybody that you are for, you are, your, the companies under your hands become so large. It will be convenient for me to say, okay, eh, this one that Brother Precious picked five banners. Say, five, five banners. Hey, brother, brother, don't draw me. I want no need company to attain print. Brother, convention board, I fair print, skin the cash. He too will say, ah, I'm Baba, me non pay me out. Hey, Joe, all work on the machine, stop, 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 stop. You will prosper. That's why you need to pray against the spirit of error. Now, look up, look up. Let me tell you this as we pray. Everybody can never be you. So don't judge anybody again by your strength. Are you hearing me? Don't look at people's weakness and judge them. Ah, this person is bad. Because that area that they are bad is the area that you are strong. That's why you are judging them. Jesus needed Judas. Because Peter won't betray him. And if they don't betray him, he will not go to the cross. He needed somebody that will have to betray him. So he didn't drive Judas away. He was the church accountant. Yes, he was stealing money, but Jesus still needed him. Because Pete, Judas was the gateway to the cross. Peter was not the gateway to the cross. But he needed Peter to continue. When he died, Peter is the one that will continue the job. And the Peter he needed has a dagger in his hand. But Jesus will be no pia, I will get your lady. Toba fi binu le crow in church, pia, you are more long gay, and when you're lady by. Oh, niati cockway, you mark, come back by share, no share, yeah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Cherry, be no dilunja ki or polo potia ye, lobi o jiti kumbi towa. Tulike low sorrow to ekoso. Ma danu jo, mini kemo, ma delete number, ma block ye. Ma block anybody yo. Up to now, alone will block is at any ocean law no. Go and read your Bible. We made the nick by Tia on Molonu, Kojo Polonu, Kilo Shele, Satani, si Wasa, and Nimo, Uluasi Nibolo Timbo, Onika, Kiria, Mojiman, Lononi, Uluasi Wabe, Lowepe, Ah, New Tia, 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 Ah, Ah, Jobu. Alone will block his Satani, Buba, and to block your law and block him. It's true, if you are God, what you block Satani now? I'll be about this. <laughs> it's true because it's, it is the devil God uses to train us. If not for the devil, some people will not be prayerful. If not for the devil, Elomi Oje ni sinyolo. You don't want to tie Elomi love follow tiki. Ah, my mama was a prayer meeting. Elomi will believe kaiye wa afi bati aye for one. We used to have one brother in our church. Anytime we are doing program, he won't come for VG. He won't come for prayer meeting. So this particular night, he was in the house. His, his second brother told him, let's go to church. I mean, I'm not going to church. Around one, Larry's brother saw one church. One a.m. 
He ran from Okebola to where our church was at Ogunba. Brother Kilo Shele, only your con Jimmy by me, Deli, who they could forty for me, Kosa. Olonwa watu onwo si Olonwa kan mere Church ya Everybody was shocked he just entered the church ah brother ni 1 o'clock oru So don't block I get don't mismanage relationship Oni ka lu nto nto nta se man ba won yoja the reason why we fight people is that we don't know the purpose why God sent them that's why we fight people. If we know their purpose, I'm telling you, we won't fight them. You understand that this one, this is his purpose. Some members will come to church, they are to make us increase in size. They may not give money. They may not even be workers. They may not contribute to anything. But they won't leave church. Are we set to pray? Last prayer. Say after me. May the spirit of error to mismanage relationship. Never succeed to operate in my life. Open your mouth and turn it to prayers. That's the last prayer for this, uh, this night's prayer meeting. Begin to pray. The spirit of error to make me mismanage relationship will not operate in my life. Will not operate in my life. You won't operate in my life. You spirit of error. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. And amen. May God release upon us wisdom to manage relationships. In the name of Jesus. We know, may, may we know by divine revelation what to do in order to excel. In the name of Jesus. May we begin to operate by supernatural grace. Our body will not be weak. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you. On every side. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. And amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord and be seated. Clap for the Lord, clap for the Lord, clap for the Lord. So make sure you continue those prayer points where? Continue at home. Don't joke with these prayer points. You need, begin to package your offerings.